Well, ground control to Major Tom, take your protein pills and put your helmet on. Because SpaceX and their Falcon 9 Crew Dragon carrying contraption is good to go. That's right, Earthling, SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket, the most successful rocket launch vehicle in the world, has been given the green light to return launching missions to space once again, after suffering a mission-ending failure during a routine Starlink satellite launch earlier this month. The Federal Aviation Administration, which licenses commercial rocket launches and investigates mishaps and failures, said Thursday that it had determined there were no public safety issues involved when a Falcon 9 failed in orbit on July 11, paving the way for the rocket to make a rapid return to flight. According to the FAA, this public safety announcement means the Falcon 9 vehicle can return to flight operations, while the overall investigation remains open, provided, of course, all other license requirements are met. But SpaceX has already revealed on its website that it will put the Falcon 9 back to work as soon as Saturday, which may or may not be today, depending on if I get this video out in time. But indeed, SpaceX has an imminent launch schedule of a batch of Starlink internet satellites, and that would make SpaceX's return to flight extremely rapid, with only about two weeks of downtime. By comparison, in the past, albeit not often, the Falcon 9 has been grounded for months after prior launch or orbit failures, the last of which occurred all the way back in 2016. But more importantly, approval to resume Falcon 9 launches also means that SpaceX is back on track to return to its routine but crucial work of launching astronauts to the International Space Station. And of course, the top priority now is to go rescue stranded Starliner hostages, or I mean astronauts, Butch and Sonny from the ISS. SpaceX's 10th NASA trip is scheduled to take place in August. That mission is dubbed Crew-9, and NASA said Friday that it's on track to launch no earlier than August 18. On Friday, July 26, Steve Stitch, NASA's commercial crew program manager, said, We've been following along step-by-step -step with the investigation that the FAA has been doing. And Stitch said SpaceX has been very transparent adding that the Crew-9 will launch after conclusion of the inaugural crewed test flight of Boeing's Starliner spacecraft. Wow, NASA is still spinning that tail, huh? Uh, no. SpaceX is going to send Crew Dragon to bring them home. Because if Starliner actually carries Butch and Sonny back to Earth, well then I'll eat a lemon donut. That's an inside joke back to my last video. Of course, unless you've been living in a cave, you know that Starliner has been stranded at the ISS for months, longer than the expected mere days as it was scheduled for. And ground teams continue to struggle to figure out what the hell caused the helium leaks that have caused the vehicle to be stuck in space in the first place. But as for SpaceX, the plan is for four astronauts to ride in the SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule atop a Falcon 9 rocket for the Crew 9 mission. The crew selected for the upcoming Crew Dragon mission consists of NASA astronauts Zena Cardman, Nick Haig, Stephanie Wilson, and cosmonaut Alexander Gorbanov. During a news briefing Friday, NASA astronaut Haig said that he's extremely confident in the SpaceX and NASA team. The NASA astro Haig added, I'm excited to strap onto that rocket when the team decides it's time to go. Hmm. Oh, anyway, he added that SpaceX has been transparent with the astronauts about the issue from the beginning since it occurred. SpaceX also has plans to launch a history-making private astronaut mission called Polaris Dawn, which will send billionaire and philanthropist Jason Isaacman and three crewmates into orbit on a Falcon 9 rocket to conduct the first spacewalk by private citizens. Originally, that mission had been slated to take off as soon as this month, but SpaceX says it's now on track for late summer or August. The Falcon 9, which is the smallest vehicle among SpaceX's fleet of rockets, is the linchpin of the U.S. rocket industry. Already in 2024, it has carried out more than 60 missions. No other rocket comes close to being as active. In case you may not know the backstory for the SpaceX standout, a Falcon 9 launched a group of Starlink satellites out of California on July 11 when the rocket failure occurred. The first leg of the mission went as planned with the Falcon 9 first stage booster rocket, which of course is the big boy piece on the bottom of the rocket with nine engines that provide the punching lift to rip the payload from the gravity of Earth. 
but it was the second stage of the rocket which delivered satellites to their final destination in orbit that suffered an oxygen leak and that led to what SpaceX CEO Elon Musk described as a RUD, or Rapid Unscheduled Disassembly, a phrase SpaceX typically uses to refer to an explosion. Funny how NASA and SpaceX use generic euphemisms for explosion. I'm pretty sure the Russians just say the rocket go boom. Or at least that's how I imagined it in my mind. No offense to Russians. And while the July 11 SpaceX launch was successful in that the satellites were indeed deployed in orbit, the problem was it was in the wrong orbit, where they didn't remain very long, before Earth's angry gravity snatched defeat from the jaws of victory, dragging all the satellites back to Earth in a dazzling, fiery death spiral. Which makes for a great fireworks show, but a lousy internet connection. The FAA told CNN it recovered all debris from the anomaly. See, there's that euphemism, anomaly. But all the remaining satellite debris completely was roasted upon re-entry and there were no reports of injury or public property damage as a result. SpaceX had asked the FAA on July 15th to evaluate the threat to public safety allowing the company to return to flight even if the broader investigation, which is meant to pin down the root cause of the mishap and identify how to correct the problem, is not complete. In a post on X or Twitter, whichever you prefer, SpaceX tweeted, or X'd, or whatever they call it, SpaceX said they figured out what made the rocket go boom. NASA said that SpaceX determined the leak was caused by a crack in a line attached to a pressure sensor which endured some wear and tear from engine vibrations, and the fact that a clamp that was meant to strap it down had come loose. A lot of strapping going on in the rocket industry. The oxygen leak caused excessive cooling of engine parts which left the rocket without enough fuel to burn properly. However, NASA reassured that the issue would never have occurred on a SpaceX mission carrying real-life human NASA astronauts, because those missions have a different flight profile. But SpaceX, being full of real rocket scientists, does not plan to assume that issue is an isolated issue and will audit the entire system to make sure it's safe for human spaceflight. And SpaceX boasted, and why not, the rocket's extensive flight history as one of the reasons the company is able to gather unprecedented levels of flight data and are poised to rapidly return to flight. So good news, Butch and Sundance, help is on the way. So hopefully you won't have to ride the lightning and roll the dice on the leaky Starliner, but instead, you can ride home in style on a true dragon. A crew dragon. And as for NASA and Boeing going forward, well, frankly, I don't know. But there you have it. Once again, you're all up to date on the wild and zany adventures of Bush and Sundance and their broke back steed, the Starliner. And make sure you keep it tuned right here to Maximus Aviation for any and all space and aviation updates. And as always, thank you for joining me. And until next time, remember, yeah, this is Maximus.